This isn't the first time Peter heard the Lord say to him, follow me. The first time was at the beginning of his ministry when Jesus called the apostles as a group, when he met Simon and said to him, follow me, when he said to the others, follow me. But now it is nearing the end of Jesus' physical presence with the apostles before ascending to heaven, even though we've celebrated the ascension. And he says to Peter once again, follow me. And it's in a very different sense that Peter is to follow the Lord. Jesus gives him an indication of what following him is going to mean. It's going to mean that he's going to go someplace that he doesn't want to go, perhaps. That others are going to bind him as he is imprisoned, as we heard in the first reading, Paul being imprisoned. And Peter, although he doubted the Lord, although he was always asking silly questions, we should probably say, would follow the Lord we know. He would follow Jesus even unto his own death, being crucified upside down, because he didn't feel himself worthy to be crucified in the same way that Jesus was. This gospel prevents, presents to us a couple of challenges, I think, because we hear it in the language, obviously, that we speak. Do you love me? It's a simple expression. Tevye asked his wife in Fiddler on the Roof, do you love me? And she said, what do you mean? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I love you. And he says, but do you really love me? And after she contemplates how long they've lived together as husband and wife, how many children they've had to get, they've together. She said, of course I love you. Jesus is challenging Peter in a similar way, but because we don't have the original language here, it seems strange to us that he uses the same word, but in Greek he would have used two different words. Do you love me? Peter hears, do you love me like a brother? And Peter says, of course I do. But Jesus is saying, do you love me enough to sacrifice yourself for me, as a husband and wife are called to do in their married life. And Peter says, I love you like a brother. And then finally, Jesus goes to his level and says, do you love me like a brother? Because he understands that Peter isn't quite ready to enter into that level of thought, although he will in action. And Peter says, of course. The other challenge is, why does Jesus use different expressions, or at least in English? I looked in the Portuguese, and it's the same word. Do you love to attend my sheep, feed my sheep, tend my sheep, or the other way around? In English, we have feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. We all know that lambs are the child of a sheep up to a year old. And I think what Jesus is saying to Peter is, Take care of the little ones first, and then the adults will follow. Love them as I love you and you love me. That's the greatest thing that we can do as a child of God, as a disciple, as a follower of Jesus Christ, is to love, to love with our entire beings. Jesus says, do you love me? And sometimes we say, absolutely, Lord. And other times we say, yeah, kind of. Jesus is asking for a commitment. And what he's asking us and how he's asking us to show that we love him is by taking care of his sheep, by loving his sheep, by loving our brothers and sisters because we all belong to the same flock. And so we ask the Lord to give us that spirit so that we can fully enter into the love which Christ has given to us, which the Lord bestows upon us and asks us to share with one another.